Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Knights of Pen and Paper. I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. If you didn't see the last episode, you need to see it because we played the TARDIS sound. We played the TARDIS sound because I have a TARDIS that makes sound like the TARDIS. <laughs> so being, I'm being so redundant right now. But uh, that was the best thing ever that has been in this video. Well, except for the Game of Thrones uh, little Easter egg things. And, um... Oh, what else have we... What else have we seen? Oh, the Sands of Time. That's where we are now. Which, Sands of Time... <laughs> that would make sense that they put a TARDIS here because the TARDIS is a time machine. It is a spaceship time machine that the Doctor uses. So, I was thinking, you know... Oh, Sands of Time, we're, we're talking about Prince of Persia. I didn't even think about Doctor Who. Those cheeky sons of guns. <laughs> them, them smart peoples that made this game. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Um, last time we left off, we were in the middle of a quest. And I hate to do that to you guys. I hate to leave it in the middle of a quest. But I don't want the video to continue on forever. So I like to just... Uh, you know, if it's, if it's enough time, we'll do it, but we'll come back to it, you know, it's always, it's always here, so, all right, let's get rid of these guys, hopefully we get more sand roses, because we've battled a couple people and haven't gotten any, except for one, and these guys are, um, uh, magical resistant, so that's the part that really sucks, because I could do this, and it really doesn't do a whole bunch but, all right. And I'm just gonna have her hit him. See, they're really easy. Um, and we got a sand rose, yay. Alrighty, I love these floating, uh, looks like they're floating dice, but they remind me of like pyramids. All right, so let's go ahead and take on a couple guys. And let's, oh gosh, I just hit him. That really, I guess it does the same amount of damage because it's minus 10 and minus 10, but there's really nothing else I can do, I guess. That one will die, so go ahead and deep freeze this guy back here. Oh, see, that one does more, I guess, so that's always good. Let's go ahead and feral rage this guy back here. All right, we'll just keep hitting them. Hopefully we get some sand roses. Oh, cool, we got two of them. So I think we actually need one more. Yep, one more. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna Feral Rage. And we're gonna go ahead and use Leader Strike. And we're going to go ahead and use the deep freeze on this guy back here. Even though it's uh, magically resistant, it still does damage. So, we'll actually probably get this guy down by the time this, yep. There we go. Cool. Some easy fights in the sand. And we got all of our sand roses. You guys are great. I know we are. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and travel back to Journey Village. And we got some good rolls. I always worry about rolls because we're not even up to, uh, I know this place. How do you know this place, Wolfie? This is always a good thing. If you're gonna play Knights of Pen and Paper, this is always a good thing to uh, know that when you are in a, a city or a village or a town or whatever, um, not the jungles or the caves, um, but in the cities, the towns, and the villages, you can sleep without rolling, so you don't have to worry about, you know, enemies and stuff. And if you're in a cave or the jungle, then you need to start worrying, or the beach, the Miami beach. <laughs> There's the other pun. There's the other pun. But anyways, you did it. Thank you so much. It wasn't hard at all. You have some difficult finding the woman's brother's grave. The description she gave you was not good enough. Maybe she should maybe you should look in the sands of time desert. Alright, so we're apparently going back to the sands of time, because, you know, we weren't just there. And we ran into a fight. Uh okay, so your party is being attacked. Protect the sand rose. 
I have a feeling it's going to be an elite. Yep, the elite guy. And he looks so weird. So let's go ahead and holy shield. Hopefully it uh, is not immune. Oh, it's super effective. That's good. That's always good to know. Alright. This guy seems pretty dang easy. Super effective. Just gonna go ahead and feral rage it again. And it's done. And the TARDIS. <laughs> Victory! We got ooh, we got 16 treasure found on the elite. See, I still don't know what the treasure is, is because it's obviously not all coins. So I don't know if it's like both coins combined or yep, must be, because it did 28, so. Alright. All of a sudden, you step on something rigid. We probably should have slept. You look down and see the inscription. Woman's brother's grave. Because <laughs> it doesn't have a name. Ha! Okay, this is the grave. You place the sand roses on his grave and hear a strange sound. Roll check. The grave trembles. You step aside. You're all terrified by the loud sound. <sighs> you woke me up. Thanks, guys. So your name is... We must know you by woman's brother. I never knew my name. I shall return home and talk to my sister. She thinks you're dead. Are you sure? Wait, what happened? Yeah, I got cursed by the black mage. I remember someone was controlling me. And then I was put to sleep like I was dead. You woke me up when you brought that sand rose to my grave. It reminded me of my sister and awakened me. Alrighty, so the woman will be con ah, oh, there's a carrot. <laughs> will be eternally grateful for what you've done for her. And whoa, look at that XP. Look at that XP and the coins. And Granny got a level. Let's go ahead and level her up. Alright, so let's go ahead and we use this a lot. Let's go ahead and raise the duration in one and increase MP by two. Alright guys, so uh, we can go back to Journey Village. We can slay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the story. Let's go ahead and travel back. Hurry up to Journey Village. Awaits you there. Oh, question mark. Woman's brother awaits you there. He has a lot to talk to you about. Good to know. He seems so cute. So weird. I'm curious about it. Alright, so let's go ahead and travel. Alright, um, let's go ahead and sleep actually before we do anything. Alrighty, let's go ahead and. You arrived at Journey Village, uh, Journey Village and hurry to listen to Woman's Brother's story. Hey, Woman's Brother, we have to come find out what about what happened. Hello again, are you ready for a story? It all began some nights ago. A powerful mage tried to get me the forest temple's guardian to work with him. So the mage enchanted you and stole the artifact. I think that the forbidden ritual needs all the other temple artifacts. If he manages to do it, he'll be powerful enough to travel between worlds. These artifacts are known as the pen and paper artifacts. I have to be I have so much to do. Be careful. Fine. All right, so quest done. You're now allied with question mark, which is woman's brother. We should come up with a name for him. Alrighty, so we can escort him, which is level 13. We can slay a cactus, which is level eight, and we don't want to do that yet. So let's go ahead and slay because we're kind of a little low. Hello, traveler. Will you help us on a task? It's quite easy. All you need to do is battle a few monsters. Sure, why not? Deal with some desert monsters. Okay, so we've got a cactus, a snake, a giant bug. Alright, I'm gonna take on some snakes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Alright, so let's go ahead and feral rage. I wonder if these guys. Oh, what is that? Is it like poison? <sighs> Does it tell me? I wish it told me what it was. Well, let's go ahead and meteor him. I know that wasn't going to do too much, but... Uh, let's feral rage this one back here. 
And we'll just hit this one. Bam! Maybe not. Bam! Okay, just doing one. That should get rid of it. Wow, he did 20 just with his paw. Let's fireball it. Cheat, cheat. I love how the snakes make this mouse sound. Yay! We got XP and, and stuff. Alright. Oh. Kill seven cactus. Oh yeah, we're supposed to kill cactus. My bad, guys. Sorry. Oh, they look weird. It's like upside down legs with an eye. Never mind. We're not going to do this. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, it looks like upside down legs that are like, help me, I'm stuck in the desert. Ah. I wonder how good these guys are going to be against the AoE. I need to get that up, really. Oh, wow. That did, that did some damage. Yeah, these guys aren't really that hard. They're pretty easy, really. I'm really liking the desert. Like, I usually hate deserts. But with these guys, I don't know, they're just kind of pretty easy. Like, I don't feel endangered. <laughs> like I have before, you know. Um, so yeah, they're actually pretty easy. We killed three of them. We got a lot of XP and we got a blood gemstone. Ooh. Okay, so we have four more to take on. Let's go ahead and just take them all on. Whoa, no, not five. Not five. Let's take, uh, let's take that one out. Okay. Alrighty. So, we should have probably slept. That's okay. We can just regen Granny. And we'll go ahead and meteor them all. And let's go ahead and put her oily, her oily shield up. Jeez, guys. Just can't talk today. Alright, so we're going to fail reach this guy over here. And we're going to meteor him again. So that's working pretty fantastic right now. Go ahead and leader strike them. That guy's down. Let's go ahead and feral rage this guy. And I think we're gonna do her AoE again. Bam! Two down, one to go. And we're just gonna hit him. Cool, got them all. We got some XP. Ooh, we got a seashell. I can hear symphonies, symphonies. <laughs> oh man, guys, I should learn how to read. I can hear symphonies and seashells. Have you guys ever done that? I mean, who really hasn't put a seashell to their their ear where you can hear the sea for those who do not live next to one? Oh, ding, ding, ding. We got levels. All right, so I was talking about getting um, Woofies, either Hibernate or Gaia up. Um, actually, I got his Gaia up last time. And I feel like we should get his Hibernate up because it does do some pretty good stuff. And I know I talked about getting her meteor up because we got her deep freeze up last time. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, levels, awesome. So I feel like we should go here. What can we do with the seashell? Minus five resurrect cost. Ooh, we can put that on someone. I bet. All right. Um, let's go ahead and go here. It's plus one experience. Let's go ahead and put this on Granny. Um, pretty sure we can sell some stuff. Oh, we can put this on someone, I think. Yeah, we can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on her. I feel like we need to upgrade our stuff. This is plus one to magic. Um, huh, I feel like we need to, yeah, upgrade and stuff, but let's go ahead and just for the remaining part of the episode, let's go ahead and uh, buy some all the way down here. Whoops, no. Let's buy some grindstones. Just watch the granny dance. Let's go ahead and keep buying things. It'll support our campaign. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go ahead and give them so he can level, hopefully. Oh, so close, so close. <sighs> I wonder, oh, and we could probably give someone else something. I I feel like we should get someone else something. So, Granny, uh, she's got, she could get a small shield. 
which would be 10 health, uh, plus 3 attack, plus 2% lifesteal. Ooh, that would be cool. Let's get her this. Please craft well. I don't think it did. Oh, better than that next time. Try again for 150. No. Darn it. Darn it, guys. Alrighty. Well, we succeeded in getting the guy who wasn't actually dead alive again. Uh, who was put under a curse. Seems like this bad mage just cursing other people. Maybe he's had a bad life. Maybe he just doesn't know what he's doing. He's just he just had a bad life, guys. You don't know you don't know his life. But anyways, guys, we will figure out what to do next time. We have some quests that we can do. Um, we'll probably actually uh, oh well we we'll probably escort the guy next time and get some more story stuff done. So on the next time of Knights of Pen and Paper, we will escort. What was his name again? The woman's brother. See you next time.